位亲爱的观众朋友，欢迎收看今天的对话好莱坞，我是主持人 Lily。那么，位于好莱坞的环球影城呢，最近刚刚新开了一个园区，叫做 The Walking Dead Attraction。那么，顾名思义呢，肯定是和行尸走肉有关的。不知道电视机前的您有没有看过《行尸走肉》？就算没有看过，肯定也听过。那么，我们先回顾一下《行尸走肉》的精彩片段I'm a policeman, little girl. I'm刚刚看过精彩片段的观众朋友们，印象最深刻的应该就是那个手里拿着泰迪熊的小女孩。那么她的出现是为整个剧集设定了一个基调，而且给人们留下了非常深刻的印象。今天我们有幸请到了
So before four years old, before you got into this industry, did you ever had any dream before, like different than this? I don't really remember my thought process when I, thought. I was four years old, <laughs> yes. but um, I'm sure I really pushed for it. It's good. So let's talk about this, the Walking Dead thing. And uh, we all get to know you because you were in this opening scene holding this little teddy bear yes. with this very scary look. Yeah. And uh, how did you think about the script when you first uh, read it? Um, actually, we didn't get to see the script until I, well, I didn't get to see it until I got to set that day. So we ha I had no idea what to expect. Mm -hmm. But when I looked at it, I'm like, okay, this is, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna try my best. And um, the writing was genius. Frank Darabont, yes. um, he's a genius, the, like real genius behind everything. And yeah. Well, so do you have like a very favorite character in this show? Um, my favorite character right now is Carol because um, I liked seeing how she grew throughout the show and she's a strong character and the actress Melissa McBride she's very good and very talented very girl power that's good yes and um, what was it like on this such a big site um, it can be a little overwhelming at first especially being a walker with all the makeup on put on you and everybody like making these gross faces <laughs> because they're like oh my goodness what is on her face yeah and, um, it's a little overwhelming, but also very cool and everything and exciting at the same time. Since you were talking about the zombies, do they, do they actually used to scare you? Um, when I was a walker, mm -hmm. I got to see them make the other zombies, which made me, you know, feel a little bit better about it because I, I really got to know the people behind the makeup, yeah. which really helped. But um, I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. It was so nasty and disgusting looking. Yeah, so when they actually were putting makeup on you, did you have a, a mirror, mirror in front of you or mm -hmm. you saw yourself? Yes, I got to see myself change. So very brief. I don't know in that age if I can do that. Yeah, you need a lot of like experiences, and you should be very brave. That's good. And uh, the crew says must be very big. Yes, it was massive. There are people working every little detail. They even had a person in between each scene to take my teddy bear, mm -hmm. and it, as if I'm going to run off with the teddy bear, which <laughs> I wouldn't. But um, yeah, they had everybody everywhere. Yeah. Then where did they put you? Um, did, did they put you with all the cast or only with this children area? Um, there was a little gas station on the inside where the other zombies got to stay and the cast members and I stayed in there. That's cool. And um, so the scene where you actually got, no, you didn't get shot, but in the yeah. scene you were got shot. Yeah. Uh, would you like to talk about it? Because people are very curious. How did it happen and was the director yeah. talking to you before the scene? Yeah, well um, beforehand they had to show me the gun and see they're fake bullets, you aren't actually going to get shot, it'll be okay. Yes. And um, I, don't, I wasn't nervous about that before but they just wanted to reassure me and my mom about it. For sure. Um, but they were so professional on set and actually for this part where I got shot in the head, they mm -hmm. had me climb up this little ladder and then jump backwards off of it onto this green screen mat, which is super That's fun, cool. but I didn't realize it could be dangerous at the same time. I was just having fun, but um, yeah. Did you get hurt? No? No, okay. I did not get hurt. Good. I had padding all over me underneath the clothes and everything. They took care of me. That's Good. And who shot in the scene? <laughs> well, Rick Grimes did, or Andrew Lincoln in real life did. Yeah, did they actually talk to you before they have to shot you in the scene? Mm -hmm. When I actually first met him, he's like, oh, hello, I'm Andrew Lincoln. I'm sorry, I have to kill you and everything. I'm like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. <laughs> and um, after uh, this, this show, this TV show, when you watch yourself on the TV, what do you think? How do you feel? I was blown away by it. It was not what I expected at all. It's different being in front of the camera and not have any idea what it's going to look like. And then seeing it put to life on the screen, it's crazy and so surreal at the same time. Yeah, what you do is very cool. Then how do you balance this uh, career and your life? 
like school and everything? Well, I go to a private school and they said as long as I get my homework done and all my makeup work done, I can continue with acting and everything. So they're like, as long as you keep good grades, you should be okay to go on and that's what I do. That's good. So yeah. you don't need to actually go to school every day, mm -hmm. just to keep up with the school's uh, education. Yes. And everything's fine. That's good. And. Uh, but you have to go to uh, class sometimes. Yes. What do your um, classmates like act, act about this? Um, I've been at the same school since kindergarten, so the people in my class I've known for a very long time. And um, they just see me as Addie. They don't look at me as some actress from a TV show. They're very supportive about it wow. and everything. They're like, very good about it. Yeah, that's actually very sweet. Mm -hmm. Like um, you have more brothers and sisters yes. for a long time. Yes. <laughs> Do this career affects your life in some way? I mean, in some ways, I can't, um, you know, have a normal social media account or anything. And there's, you know, no other person off the street gets to come do interviews for China and like <laughs> go to all these conventions and red carpets and everything. But I love this career and I love the life I have right now, and I wouldn't change it. Well, that's very, very lucky. Yeah. And talking about your life, we have to talk about your family because. They are the people who support who support you the most yeah. and give you all those um, good uh, how do you say this good elements and good yes uh, good energy for your life. So do your parents very supportive about this or sometimes mm -hmm. they, they're like telling you no you have to go study or something else. Um, they keep me in check for the most part, but. Mostly, I'm my biggest critic and everything. I make sure I do all my work and everything, but they're my backbone. I couldn't do it without my family. My dad gets to stay with my brothers and help out back at home, and my mom gets to go explore with me, and it's great having that support system. Well, it sounds like a very, very loving family. Yes. You, Since you mentioned have brothers, mm -hmm. uh, are they like older brothers or younger brothers? I have two younger brothers. They must be so proud of you. I hope so. <laughs> I'm sure I they mean, are. And um, what do they like uh, usually do when you, you are not around, like other than school? Yeah. Do they like go outside, go outdoors or? Well, um. So they don't really realize it too much because they both have autism and um, because of that I try to understand more what autism is so I went and worked at this little autism camp a few summers ago mm -hmm. to really get to know everything and um, I know how to handle my brothers and they're so great, they're so sweet and loving and I mean they keep me in check for real. They like to annoy me a lot and play jokes on me a lot <laughs> but um, without them I don't know who I'd be right now. So is there any in any way affected you to something to I mean I would love to get to help mm -hmm. kids like them and everything it's yes. it's hard seeing my brothers not understand certain things that other kids understand and it's hard sometimes and I would go to their doctor's appointments with them and everything sometimes and although I was bored most of the time <laughs> um, I got to really see how the doctors handle it and everything and see where they work which mm -hmm. was at Duke University or their little hospitals outside of it and everything and I fell in love with, with the campus there and I'm like okay maybe I want to go there and so you know good. help out yeah. kids like my brothers. Well you have a really big heart. Thank you. And um, so since your career is basically right now it's in movie industry, mm -hmm. what type of genre do you like the most? I don't know, I'll watch any genre and everything. I like a little action or sometimes mystery, but um, right now I have to say I really want to go see a movie like Called Me Before You and it's like this little romance movie and I'm a sucker <laughs> for romance. So. Well, there's no shame about it. No. Me too. <laughs> and, um, so, if you're right now you're into some romantic movie, 
-hmm. What's our favorite one? Well, my favorite one's not really romantic. My favorite movies are the Harry Potter movies. Oh my god, me too! Yes, and Did I you? yeah, I went to go see it um, yesterday at Universal, and mm -hmm. it was so beautiful. I know. I went there too. It's like oh, did you? God. Yeah, brought all of my like childhood memories. Yes, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And do you have any hobbies? Um, well, I play soccer outside of acting, and um, yeah, I've been playing it for 12 years, and we were just discussing that and yes. everything. Yeah. Like, soccer is really cool. I was really surprised when you told me your hobby is soccer. Yeah. Because in my, um, in my world, I feel like only guys into soccer, and you know right now this game is going on. Oh, yeah. actually, do you pay attention to the games? I do. I keep up with America and everything, and the women just won the World Cup yes. last summer, and that was very exciting. I was actually in Germany during that, and wow. like, we were trying to keep up at the same time as long as, like, going with my schedule and everything, it was crazy. Since there's a huge amount of Chinese audience very into the show, they're crazy about The Walking Dead. Do you have any plan to go to China or do you want to? Um, if I'm asked to go to China, I will be happy to go to China and meet some of the people. I'd because love to. That's, that's very great because people will love to see you and see more of your appearance in China. Yes. And Talking about recently, do you have any recent job or recent um, uh, have, schedule? Well, I have a film out right now on DVD. It's called Dark Places, and it's based off a book by Gillian Flynn, who, um, yeah, who yes. has on that book Gone Girl and that movie out as well. That's that's awesome. Yeah, really. um, it's starring like Charlize Theron, Christina Hendricks, Nicholas Holt, and Chloe Grace Moretz, and I. It's a little mystery movie, and I love it. I'm really impressed by like your age you're doing such a big things it's like your starting point is like way before other other children how do you feel about that it's surreal I love it I'm so yes. thankful for it because I could be back at home right now doing nothing at all but I'm here now and it's so cool yeah like we all know that um, you're very into um, this life you're having right now mm -hmm. and we can tell you have such a good energy around you and very very hard working that's very important because you realize in such a young age so we can picture you become a very independent woman in the future very soon Thank and you. we believe your future will be very bright and huge you have Thank all you. our bless <laughs> Oh, thank oh. you so much. Thank That's you for so being sweet. here with, with us. Thank you. Thank you. Mom has been in trouble. I have rumors. What kind of rumors? The police are looking for you. There's some serious allegations about your son. Mom, he's a freak. He can just go in his room. He's got all sorts of weird stuff. <laughs> I was eight the night they were killed. <gasps> the little orphan girl of the Kansas Prairie Massacre. It's a real tragedy what happened. And your brother in jail going on 28 years. If you want to convince me that Ben's innocent, you're wasting your no, time. No, you just call, I just pick your brain about what happened that day. Tell me about this club. Call it the Kill Club. Ex cops, private investigators. We solve crimes. That's what we do. Go see Ben. It all starts with him. What are you talking about? Maybe Ben is innocent. Here comes my little sister after all these years. Go ahead, ask the question. I don't need to ask. I know you killed them. No, I did not. Then why have you never filed for an appeal? Who do you think did it? It's a puzzle with lots of different theories. It's devil worship. Come on, baby! I'm not ready for this. You lied. I lied. Everybody's a liar. Time to tell the truth. I'm sad for you, little girl. You're just as imprisoned as I am. I love you, Lippy. Don't you ever forget that. 
，我们可以看到艾迪·米勒是一个非常健谈又可爱的小姑娘。那么访问的最后呢，艾迪·米勒还有一些话想对你们说，我们来看一下。If you want to go into acting and everything, there's going to be a lot of negative people who will knock you down and tell you you can't do it, and you just got to learn to not listen to them and follow what makes you happy and not try to. You know, put others' opinions before you, because、um, I learned from Taylor Swift that you're not somebody's opinion of yourself, and you gotta follow your own path. 今天的访谈呢，非常的愉快。我们也了解到了 Eddie Miller 是一个又可爱又阳光的小女孩，她在生活、工作上找到了相当的平衡。我们也希望电视机前的您因此可以受到启发。感谢您收看今天的对话好莱坞，我是主持人 Lily， 我们下次节目再见。Thank <laughs> you.